So what's going on YouTube? Like I said, I'm back and this is my latest purchase. My dream truck, something I've wanted ever since I was a child. Uh, Joe Alco used to have one in navy blue, but his was a Tahoe. So I want to say that was like 97, 98. That's my other baby. That's number two out of three, but this is my third one. This is a 1992 Chevy Blazer Silverado. Uh, it's either a Silverado or I can't think of what the other one is called, but yeah. So I picked this up, literally seen it on Facebook and the guy had it up there for 2000 and something, but then he marked it down. So this is what we got. We got some good old tires up here. Thing been sitting a little bit. I ain't worried about it. Got a dent in the body, but we gonna, we gonna pop that out. A little bit of rust. The truck was up north. I did like a VIN search and I checked it. A little bit of rust down there. I'm not worried about it. Everything running. I got the AC on right now. I'm trying to change this out right now because the actual port went bad. And I seen they actually have the port for like $8. So I ain't gonna do nothing but fix that myself and take take that out. So, uh, yeah, this is my baby. Uh, she got an aftermarket exhaust. As you can see, it's bigger. It's not the, the standard joint, the standard one. A little bit of rust on it. And I had to get the gate. Why? Because I love the tailgate for me personally. The shots in the gate is bad, but the gate uh, got them only for light. <laughs> so you see the shots is out, so. The shots ain't nothing but it's probably like sixty dollars so that's an easy fix i took that off for the roof i was trying to look at my speakers i thought my speaker wasn't working but they actually work it's my front two speakers that's not working tailgate and i got an actual hitch on it and uh the only thing really for real on the back part the tail light not the tail light the license plate light ain't on and this is my major problem that i have but we gonna fix this tomorrow uh this ain't nothing but a panel swap that's not nothing to worry about for real the sagging door hinge every chevy meets his demise with the uh the, the sagging door hinge and uh and it's got a little bit of rust right here too same thing like on the opposite side but this one just goes a little bit further uh, my hinge is actually upside down so it's actually incorrect and I don't have a spring right here in my door. Pop my, pop this hood. So I had to clean that out. I still got some more cleaning and detailing. That's the only thing that's wrong interior wise with this truck. It's a 30 year old truck. What do you expect, you know? The lining is out. I don't know who took that out, but all this is gonna get fixed up. I'm gonna take all that out. Everything's original in here. Nothing at the market, nothing, nothing. Like everything's original. Russ, but you already know, the old Chevy's paint is just like that, especially if it was outside. And this was an up north truck, as you can tell. So you see that National National Park Service? Come on. So uh, the truck was in Maryland and it was somewhere else. I read on the report. I can't remember the, uh, the other places where it was. But here it is. Um, this is a TBI 350. You can tell you changed that. And the, the top in the back looked like it was changed also. So change, change that. I gotta buy more cooling tomorrow. He said the battery's about dead, but the truck literally starts up on its own. So it has to be an old battery or the battery's going out. She holding on pretty damn strong. I got my flashlight right here. You know, hold on. Hold on, how I turn it on? Oh, there you go. I got my, got my flashlight, just in case. Original light. I don't got my box right here for my storage. But, of course, everything down there looks like it's oily, kind of leaky. New pipe that's coming tomorrow. I'm fixing all this shit tomorrow. So, everything basically like that shit, the hinge. Look, oh my god look at them. new headlights i really wanted to do the sport grill and do it dark black with the black grill black emblem with the red bow tie 
and I might keep the bumper the same, or I might do the blacked out bumper and do it completely blacked out. But I know if I do it completely blacked out, it's not gonna be a true sport because the sports came like that. The Silverado ones did not come like that. So this is my baby, this is my new thing that I got. This is number three. I got something else I need to buy before this year is over with. I just wanna do a quick little video this video going straight up how it is. No edits, no takes, no nothing. I'm not, I don't have an intro. I don't have anything fancy. So one and two, you always need a truck, man. I keep telling everybody, you need a truck, you need a car. SUV, I don't care about my tag, the tag all. And that's my little baby. If y'all interested in this, I'll show y'all some more about this one. Do I got to do a lot? I think I got to do a lot. Well, I got to do a lot. All right, that's my baby. This is a... 2015 infinity q50 vq boys what's up so this is just something simple that's my baby i ain't i ain't finished with her yet so i got more in store for her but this is my this is my main thing right now so probably tomorrow probably go get it tinted because it had a reflection tint that's factory and all of this glass is factory you see that this is all factory where the other one at this is all factory. This car came from Chevrolet. Chevrolet, just like this. No edits, no new shit. So I'm keeping it how it is. Keep even keeping my roof rack because I like the roof rack up here too. Because it's just showing it his old character. I might actually put a bike on it whenever I actually like buy a bike, but I don't know yet. So but that's it for right now. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. All right.